how you see yourself and how the in determines how the enemy sees you. And if you have poor self-image of yourself, the enemy's going to agree with you. We saw ourselves as grasshoppers and they agreed when we said, we're as grasshoppers, aren't we? And, and they said, yes, you are. But here's what got me that I've never seen this. I've never heard this. I've never seen this. This messed me up. This is the whole sermon that I've been hurrying to get to. Here it is. They said, we were in our plural, we plural, in our sight as grasshoppers. The problem was not only how I see me, but it's how I see you. It's how I see you, not just me, that can determine whether or not I get into the promised land. It's how, if I see you and you and you and you and you as grasshoppers, grasshoppers, that she's not important. She's not important. She's not important. Well, she doesn't have that much money, and she's not that. She's not this. She doesn't have the right kind of red bottom shoes. Uh, she and you and you and you and you. And when you start seeing others that God has called you to be grouped with as insignificant, they had an improper respect. For each other. The grasshopper is just a little insect that you step on. It makes no difference. There's nothing special about a, a, a grasshopper. And God said the reason they can't go in. Is because they see each other as grasshoppers. They see their children as grasshoppers. You might be talking to the next president of the United States. You might be changing the diaper of the next, of the next senator from Georgia. Quit seeing those whom God has put in your life as grasshoppers because your children and your children's children are part of the plan of God's destiny for you in your life. Because everybody there had experienced deliverance from Egypt. All of them had come out by the blood of the lamb. All of them had been led by the cloud. All of them had been fed. All of them had seen the miraculous signs and wonders of God. And yet they saw each other as insignificant, can't do nothing, not important, not that big of a deal people. And I'm telling you, I'm so glad when I came to this church 30 something years ago and stood in that pulpit, when I got up, I made crazy statements like one of these days, we're going to preach the gospel to the whole world from these red hill clay, these red clay hills of Northeast Georgia and maybe 300 people. Did he say the whole world? <laughs> but I didn't see those people as grasshoppers. Oh, I feel like shouting. When you hear your little child in there having piano lessons, don't see them as a grasshopper. They may be the next songwriter that brings a song that, that touches the world. When you see that child in there, we need God to show us who we are and who we have around us. 